Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And my subject today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert is Bhairava. Bhairava, it's a great name, isn't it? It means fearful, terrifying, horrendous. It comes from the word biru, which means fearful and terrified. So Bhairava is terrifying. He's a, a form of Shiva. He's terrifying because he is one of the extreme forms of Shiva. He's extreme because he sometimes has to do things that are extreme. The origin story of Bhairava is very noteworthy. It has different versions, but the version I like is once Brahma, the creator, and Vishnu, the preserver, were arguing over who was supreme. And suddenly, a gigantic column of light that extended infinitely in both directions appeared between them. So they said, huh, what is this? And they said, where can it have come from? Where can it be going? So they said, Brahma said, I'll go up and you go down, Vishnu, and we will find the end of it. And Vishnu went down and he could not find the end of it, no matter how far he went. And Brahma went up and he could not find the end of it. But he happened to see a very small ketiki, screw pine flower, falling. And he asked the screw pine flower, where are you falling from? And the screw pine flower said, uh, I don't have any clue, but I've been falling for an infinitely long period of time. As long as I remember, I've been falling. Brahma said, uh, listen, why don't you become my witness? And we're going to say we found the top of the, of the column of light. So the screw pine flower said, okay. I presume it had nothing else to do. It had been falling forever. And so they came back down and Vishnu said, I couldn't find the bottom. And Brahma said, I found the top and here's the screw pine flower that is going to testify on my behalf. And Shiva then appeared and said, Brahma, you are lying. And screw pine flower, you are lying and you must never be offered to me. And therefore you never offer screw pine flowers, Ketaki, to Shiva. And Shiva was so pissed off that out of Shiva, Bhairava, the extremely terrifying form of Bhairava, appeared. And before that, the creator, Brahma, had had five heads. But Bhairava chopped off the head, of the top head of Brahma. And after that, he only had four heads. And then he had to be a little quieter because the lying head had been removed. The problem is that he was the creator. And so this was a karma. And even all the gods, the law of karma applies to them too. So the head of Brahma stuck to bite of his hand and he had to wander around the entire universe being pursued by an extremely terrible female figure called Brahmahatya who was cackling and threatening and doing all kinds of annoying things. So Bhaira was being very annoyed, but he was wandering around trying to find the place that he would be able to get rid of the head. And finally, when he got to Kashi, Varanasi, Banaras, Om Namah Shivaya, the head dropped down and he was freed of it. And it dropped down at Kapala Mochana, which means freedom from the skull. Nobody really knows where that is in Banaras nowadays. So people have decided that number one, it's the entirety of Banaras. And number two, the place to go to acknowledge this and also to meet Bhairava, which is always a good idea. If you go to Banaras, first thing you do, go to Kalabhaitava and say, please make sure that my visit here to Benares does not have any dramatic obstacles and that I don't get totally sick or get run over by a bull or die or anything like that. Thank you very much. So Kalabhaitava, by virtue of him landing there and having the head drop down, he has become the Kotwal, the sheriff of Benares, and he is in charge of determining how much misery you have to go through if you happen to die in Benares. Bhairava is, in this context, a protective deity. Above the front door of my house, I have an image of Bhairava. And that image of Bhairava is providing protection because nobody dares to go in front of Bhairava because he'll chop your head off. It's also very interesting to note that in the more transcendent variety of reality, Bhairava is representative of the supreme reality, but just in a very, very attention-filled form. In fact, there's an excellent text uh, called the Vidyana Bhairava Tantra that gives 112 different meditative techniques in order to assist your mind to move in the direction of the supreme reality. So, always keep 
a good attitude towards Bhairava. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone the, the blessings of Lord Bhairava.